Bookbuster is our Aaron the Bookbuster. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty book, Skullgery Pleasant. Book 3, The Faceless Ones, by Derek Lofty. This book is like always, is, uh, is about our beloved skeleton detective, Skullgery Pleasant, and his apprentice, Valkyrie King and their allies, Tanith Thou, um, also known as Sword Lady, and some pretty gruesome villains too. If you if you read the uh, if you saw the review for the old the last Goldray Plymouth book, uh, I may have not included a lot of details, but it is the uh, the second plot to bring the faceless ones. The dark gods wants to destroy and enslave human you, humankind, come back to the earth, and this is kind of like the plan Plan C, because it's the third one, you know, A B C, third one. So, so the thing is that there is a way, there is a way that they could open a gate between the parallel realm of the evil faceless ones, ones. And that is, you know, pretty dangerous, those guys are. And, as you can say, mm -mm. As, as I was saying, the fa if the Faceless Ones comes back, Skullgrave Pleasant and the others are in real big trouble. Because if, if they come back, they're gonna, they're, the world's gonna end. Most definitely, yes. So, they gotta naturally stop it. The two things they need to, the three things they need to open a gate into into the faceless one's world is number one, where the gate, of course, they have to know where the gate is exactly, and they need a teleporter, a kind of magician who can teleport, teleport in seconds into somewhere else, and an itmus anchor, something in the world that remains of the faceless one. And together, they can open the gate. The Dillabury, the, the evil gangster group who is trying to open the gate and bring the Faceless Ones back, are led by a mysterious man named Batu. And he might not even be a mage. By that, I mean a magic user. And this book is pretty much about Skullgrave Pleasant and Valkyrie King trying to stop them. They bring their allies together, Elder Bliss, Mr. Bliss, whatever. At the end part, Mr. Bliss, Skullgrave Pleasant, and the last teleporter in the world, named Fletcher, and, and Valkyrie King, who is the only one who can use the Sector of the Asians, ancient, recently um, remade, and... And here and all and Tanith Vow, Ghastly, who has recently turned from a statue, and they're ready to fight. But the Dillabury is no ordinary foe. They're deadly and they're miraculous and they have a lot of plans. And apparently one of those plans made that three or three hundred hollow men army that uh, a kind of a kind of puppet fighting machine that's made out of clay and stuff like that. Though an army of that is trying to stop them. And five necromancers, Skull and the Gan, by that I mean Skulldre Pleasant, Valkyrie King, Tannis, Lau and Ghastly. Not so much against, you know, 300 hollow men and the delivery, but there's something about that. Suddenly, Mr. Bliss, dun dun dun, the most strongest man in the world, leading an army of cleavers, dun dun dun, dun and China Soros, the, the most beautiful woman in the world, who can fight really well and she can use, well, kind of ruling magic, I guess. And yeah, all of them are coming, and the bad guys are in trouble. And then the gate opens and three faceless ones comes out. And to make the long story short, Valkyrie managed to kill two. 
and Skulder is forced to act and the scepter is destroyed. And there's one last faceless one in the world. And Skuldry Pleasant is forced to act as bait to lure the faceless one back into the world. Back into their world. And this time Fletcher couldn't keep the gate open and the gate slams closed with Skuldry Pleasant at the other side. And the and the book uh, ends with with a necromancer telling that maybe maybe Valkyrie should choose to be a necromancer number one and number two that she can bring Skullery Pleasant by using Skullery Pleasant's real skull because the ones that Skullery is currently using is actually one that he's he has won in a poker game. And the real head is somewhere on this planet, thankfully. And so the book ends with Valkyrie Kane and a new hope. And it's a great book. And like always, your bookwaster, Aaron the bookwaster. Gotta go, my friends. A lot of things to do.